What if you could extend the range of your hacking projects by miles for as little as $5? Today, we'll check out Hacking with Laura on this episode of Redia. Laura is a long-range, low-power radio protocol that allows us, for as little as $5, to upgrade our existing projects, like this USB nugget, to have a range of multiple miles. In the United States, Laura uses the unlicensed 915 MHz band, meaning you do not need a license to operate this radio. That's really cool because in our test, we were able to use a simple wire antenna and get multiple miles of range, and with an ideal antenna, we were able to receive broadcasts even using a pretty bad antenna from four plus miles away. That's some serious range, and it means we can do some really exciting things. There are a lot of LoRa modules out there, but in the end, I settled on this RFM95W as my option to go with. A big reason for that is that Adafruit had previously used them, and as a result, there's a really nice CircuitPython library available for pretty much anybody with a little bit of Python experience to use. Now, the goal of this project is to try to send a Rickroll from super far away, using just a little bit of CircuitPython. To pull this off, I'm going to be using two different CircuitPython libraries. The first is the RFM9x library, and the second is the DuckyScript library, both of which are native to CircuitPython. My friend Jacob designed this PCB to connect the module directly to the Nugget, and my friend Zach made this 3D printed stencil to make the manufacturing process a little bit easier. After whipping a couple together, I added a wire antenna and made about 30 of these for testing purposes. Here, I've written some basic CircuitPython that can act both as a transmitter and as a receiver. First, it defines the pins that the radio is connected to, and then defines a DuckyScript function that Rick rolls whichever computer it's plugged into when it's called. After that, my code transmits a packet over LoRa that says RickMe, and then listens for a packet with the RickMe code word. If it hears the RickMe code word, it runs the Rickroll script. Because I can flash the same code to two nuggets, plug one in and wait, and then trigger it by plugging in a second one, this makes it really easy to test the range of the attack. So let's give it a shot. I set up our friend Autumn in an office building and then went about a mile and a half away to try to launch a Rickroll attack. After holding up the nugget and transmitting, I was able to send a signal on the first try that triggered a successful and very frustrating Rickroll attack on her end. Altogether, this long range Rickroll example took about an hour to code and test. So if you're looking for an exciting new technology to drop into an existing project to add miles of range, I can't recommend Laura enough. Now, if you wanna check out this specific backpack for the USB nugget that we created for this project, you can check out the Redia.io web store. And if you want to learn more about Laura, then stay subscribed because we're gonna do even more videos covering this technology. We'll see you next time.